Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'm going to be making some kale rasta pasta. So let's get into this recipe. This meatless pasta dish was so delicious. So first I'm going to make some crispy kale that's going to go on top. So I'm just going to take some kale out of my zippy bag. <laughs> that's how I store it to keep it nice and dry. And you're going to put it on a parchment paper on a pan just like this or any nonstick uh, oven safe pan that you have available make sure you grease it just like this just put enough because it does shrink i'm gonna season this you want to put some oil your favorite oil olive oil canola oil uh coconut oil i'm seasoning it with this spice right here and some salt mix it up and put it into an oven but don't walk away because it does go fast and you can burn it All right, so this is my penne pasta and my coconut milk. Make sure you get the coconut milk that's in the can. Do not use the coconut milk that's in the box. And that's my Parmesan cheese. So the next step is the peppers. I'm going to do red, green uh, peppers. And um, this is how you want to slice them just so they can stay and remain nice and bright. You don't want to cut them too small and too fine. Next, you want to chop up your garlic just like this. I'm using five healthy cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to chop it up. And these are the rest of the veggies. I'm also going to chop a half an onion. Finally, we can start cooking. I'm going to add the veggies to some butter just like this. Uh, to keep this dish um, vegan, all you have to do is not add the cheese. That's it. Everything else is dairy-free. Just don't add the cheese. I wanted the cheese because I like the Parmesan cheese and Rasta pasta. And that's why I wanted it. So I used it. So, so you're going to season this up. I'm seasoning it with uh, my spice, Spicy Girl, which will be available August 1st on my website. I'm also using the same spice I used on the crispy kale uh, down in here and some salt and pepper. However, you can season this however you want. I gave the kale a little rough chop just to break it down a bit um, since it's not going to be cooking for that long in this dish. Next, you want to add the kale to the mixture just like this. For, for the record, that was the rest of the kale that was in the zippy bag. That's not the crispy kale. The crispy kale is actually out the oven and chilling on my counter right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I just added my coconut milk to my pot, bring it to a simmer, uh, just like this. And then I'm going to add the pasta. Now, like I said, this step right here, if you're vegan, you would stop here and just add your fresh basil, as you're going to see I do in a minute. But if you want cheese like I did, then you'll keep moving on. This right here was just as delicious. However, I wanted the cheese, so I added some cheese. So... You're going to add your fresh basil, you're going to grate your fresh parmesan cheese down in here, mix it up, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to plate it up and let you guys know what I thought about it. I definitely tried it, so you guys <laughs> got my reaction. So after I plate it up, I added a little more Parmesan right on top for presentation. This is how I gave it to my husband, y'all. <laughs> then I topped it with some more crispy kale just like this. Look how pretty this is. Only a few ingredients. Um, it was delicious. It was so flavorful. And look how pretty this is. Now, again, the crispy kale is optional. It's because I'm extra and I love presentation. So that's what I chose to do. But... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for watching. This is how it looks close up on my phone. <laughs> and thank you guys. Bye. Kill chips though. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, make sure you season the kale chips before you put it in the oven. Because they need to be seasoned. So don't come on here saying, oh, Misha, it's nasty. You better season it. <laughs> Get into the tea. As you can see, it's still creamy, but it's not as creamy. Like, you know, Alfredo with the heavy cream and the milk. 
but it still has some body to it. See, this is why I like using my phone when I taste the food because I can really get up in the plate and y'all can see it. <laughs> the first thing I get is the well seasoned uh, coconut milk and the kale. And yes, you do taste the coconut in the coconut milk. That's why you have to use the canned coconut. Don't use the box coconut, y'all. Mm mm mm. It's good. 